So while running courses on MS Project, particularly at the advanced level, many people have asked me, I need to see slippage on the screen. Well, that's easy enough through the detail Gantt. But I also need to see a column that calculates the slippage. And after trying many formulae, I realized that in fact it's already there. So let's first check my baseline and then invoke a little bit of slippage. Let's just look at all the critical tasks versus non-critical. There's only one non-critical there. There is a little bit of slack near the bottom here with 3.3. And that's fairly obvious because we've created a branch here and a double relationship. So there is a floating task over here, thus introducing a little bit of float or slack, as the Americans say. But what about slippage? Well, slippage is invoked when one delays off the baseline on a, on a critical task. So let's introduce the split into 1.2. Let's say there's a delay in the back act or being delivered. So let's go task, split the task, and let's push it out by a day over there. There we go. So we've got one day slippage. Now, if we were to go to the detail Gantt view, which is easily invoked. I always use the old-fashioned view bar. More views down here and we'll go detail Gantt over there and apply. It gives me my day slippage which is fantastic and it even gives me the measurement of how much. However, if one wants to see that in a column you would just need to choose start variance and start variance will give you your slippage over there. Uh, no need to add a special customized column. So there I have my slippage off the baseline. One can of course add the baseline there as well on the detail Gantt so you can see it in more detail although it's a little busy. But there we go. Having done that we now can work out how to haul back the critical path and of course that would mean we probably need to solve it by pulling it back here yeah, let's say pull that back to um, one day over there that pulls that back but unfortunately we're still off even though that was a critical task let's say we can fill with water one day there we go back on track over there having slipped off over there There is, however, a better way <clears throat> if one wants to use a formula and you would need to create an extra column which I have entitled slippage column. So right click here and we'd go, uh, I would, you would normally go um, in custom fields and rename a column. I've already done that. So let's insert that column and I'll look at the design of that co column. I've got the slippage duration to column there. So here's how you would have done it. Right click and custom fields. You would have changed the name to slippage. Okay. All right. Um, I used a duration column. All right. And the formula I inserted was this formula. All right. Uh, I'll put that in the link below in the description below. Baseline finish, the difference between baseline finish and finish. So that looks good. And then notice here it calculates the day. The data type is of course duration. You would need to make sure of that. Okay, not cost, date, number, etc. It's duration. Okay. <clears throat> so we're calculating our slippage. That's the more accurate way of doing that.